Hello, guys. So I would like us to um, differentiate this from the first principle. So solution. First of all, uh, quickly, let's just get to know the answer using the question truly. If we are to use the question truly, we know that this will be our u, this will be our v. So u prime v minus v prime u over v squared. On the side, our u prime will be one multiplied by v, which is x plus four, minus our v prime, which is one, multiplied by u, which is x, all this divided by v squared, which is x plus four squared. So this x plus four minus x, this will just give us four over x plus four squared. So this is the answer that we're looking for, but we want to do it using the first principle. So dy dx from the first principle is given by limit as change in x is approaching zero, of f of x plus change in x minus f of x, all this divided by change in x. Now let's first of all start by identifying what f of x is. f of x is obviously the question that you are supposed to differentiate, so that is that. Then what is f of x plus change in x? So before anything is done onto the x, you add a small change. So that will be x plus change in x x plus change in x plus four. Then now let's put these values into our first principle formula. So our dy dx will be equal to limit as change in x is approaching zero of one over change in x. So I've taken this and put it aside as one over change in x just to make my working easier. Then take f of x plus change in x which is x plus change in x over x plus change in x plus four minus f of x, which is x over x plus four. So I'm going to simplify whatever it is that I have in the bracket. I'm going to put it under the same LCM. So limit as change in x is approaching zero of one over change in x into um, the LCM for this two will be X plus change in X plus four, X plus four. So how many times does this go here? It will be this time. So X plus four multiplied with X plus change in X. Multiplied with X plus four. Minus how many times does this go here? So we will have x here multiplied with x plus change in x plus four. Okay, so continue with our simplification. This is going to be limit as change in x is approaching zero of one over change in x into, let's open this bracket. So this will give us x squared plus four x plus, if you multiply x, by change in x, you will get x change in x, and then plus four change in x, minus, opening this bracket, this will give us x squared minus x change in x minus four x. All this divided by whatever we have in the denominator, which is x plus change in x plus four, x plus four. Okay, so let's see, uh, onto the numerator, we have x squared positive and x squared negative. So that will cancel out. We have x plus change in x, we have minus x plus change in x, that will give a zero. We have four x, we have minus four x, that will give a zero. So this simplifies to limit as change in x is approaching zero of one over change in x into, onto the numerator, we have four change in x left, all this divided by x plus change in x plus four x plus four. So the change in x here will cancel out with this change in x. So I have limit as change in x is approaching zero of four over x plus change in x plus four, x plus four. So now that we've simplified it, um, what is left is now for us to drop the change in x. So let change in x be equal to zero. Then what's going to be our answer? Where there's change in x, we put zero. So this will be x plus zero plus four, and then x plus four. So now we are done and our answer is finally four over x plus four 
squared. And initially, before we use the first principle formula, we got the answer quickly using the quotient rule, and that is what we got. So this is how we go about it.